Okay, so today we're going to take this cover off and see if we can't tap into the power wire so that we can get some wattage me measurements. I've been curious how much power this draws under use, so let's open it up and find out. So to take the cover off, all you have to do is remove these screws. Oh yeah, look how smooth that is. That freewheel doesn't make a sound. Okay, so the type of head that has is a T10 Torx. So where would you get a Torx driver? Well, Harbor Freight, of course. Okay, so to completely remove this piece, you have to remove this plastic guard at the bottom as well. There's a few Allen head screws holding it. So you don't have to completely remove that guard at the bottom, just remove the two screws in the back and just push it down and that will release its hold on the bottom of this. And then you can just take it off like that. And there's that XT60 connector we're looking for. So just give it a light tug and it should come right out. Okay, I now have my power analyzer plugged in. The battery's charging. I'll set up the GoPro mount and then we'll take it out for a test. Okay, let's see what would work here. I think I'll use an arm. Actually, I think the pedals might hit the camera. So I'll probably move this. Okay, I've moved it up here. Okay, so here's what the setup looks like. I put all that duct tape on the side because there was a lot of glare coming in from the side, reflecting off the screen of the power analyzer. So this way, hopefully, it'll be easier to see. So I'll just try to explain what I'm doing while I'm writing. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the wires that I have on my power meter aren't the thickest I could use, so I should probably rewire this using like 12 gauge wire or maybe even 10 gauge wire just to make sure the losses through the wires are minimized. So don't use these numbers that, you, that you're getting from my meter as like something set in stone because number one, I don't think the battery was fully charged and number two, if the wires were thicker, we would probably experience less voltage sag. So keep that in mind as you're watching the video. Alright, let's unplug the battery charger and see what happens. Okay, we're going to set it up to the maximum assist level. Okay, I've set the gear up to the down to the lowest gear. It's up on the highest. Cog. So I'm going to turn it on, the wheel is up in the air, and we'll do full throttle. The next thing we're going to try is I'll shift through the gears while the bike is at full throttle, and then we'll end up on the 13 tooth. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to ride up and down my driveway and then I'm going to go down a small hill and then I will ride up the hill and we'll do full throttle. <laughs> So now 
now we're going to go up a hill at full throttle. <laughs> thing I'm going to try is I'm going to downshift or upshift to one of the middle gears and then we'll try going up the hill again. Okay, we are on the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're right in the middle, so we're going to go full throttle up the hill. So the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to go down to the 13 tooth cog and go up that hill and then I will go down the flat part of my driveway. Oh, it looks like I need to help it up the driveway. Up the hill, I mean. It couldn't make, that, make it up the hill. This is full throttle. Okay, now we are at a relatively flat area, so I'm just going to go back and forth at full throttle, and I'll end up in the highest gear, and then you can watch the meter. last cog so I'm going to do a full throttle acceleration on the flat area and we'll see what happens <laughs> I was thinking about the test I've been running. I probably should have done this one at the beginning when the battery had more uh, power. But we'll do a baseline run with throttle only, and then we will use the pedal assist to see if it can make the motor draw more power. Okay, so here's the baseline run, throttle only. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go up the hill using the pedals only, but the pedal assist level is set at the highest setting. I'm going to go up the hill using pedal only again.
and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Now next time I will try this again after charging the battery for a longer time. Okay, I just watched the video that I made of the power meter and I just wanted to share with you some closing thoughts. So, this showed me that I do in fact have a ludicrous controller and I'm actually really happy that it was able to reach the power level that it did. So I wanted to also comment on continuous versus peak ratings. So you might have read somewhere that the bike is only good for 2000 watts peak. So what does peak even mean anyways? Let's take for example power amplifiers. A lot of you might have heard of the RMS rating. That's typically what people consider as the continuous output power. But if you just double the RMS rating that's usually the peak power and that's often a meaningless specification because the amplifier clearly can't hold that for any reasonable amount of time so when it comes to e-bikes when I hear the word peak I automatically think okay it's a meaningless rating that it won't sustain but in the case of the X1 as you can clearly see it was able to sustain that 1700 watts going up a significant portion of the hill. It maintained that for several seconds. So to me, that's not really peak as I would normally think of a peak rating where it can only be maybe like half a second or a second. That was several seconds. So I'll probably have to take the bike to a really steep hill and see what kind of power it can put out going up the hill the whole time. But as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm really happy with this 1700 watts. Even though it only reached 1700 watts, as you can see, the battery is down to 50 volts and it actually sagged down to 43.41 volts, so which tells me that uh, I probably should have charged the battery longer. And next time I do this test, hopefully I will uh, have a chance to upgrade the wires to something thicker just to make sure that we're not losing any power through those wires. And this also opened up some other ideas that I came, I thought of. Maybe someday I can test some different kinds of cells, maybe like a Samsung 25R, to see if it'll sag less. And by sagging less, what I mean is the voltage will drop less under load. Because the Samsung 25R is known as one of the most powerful batteries able to maintain its voltage even under very high stress. And another thing I am curious about is whether or not this, this M600 in the X1 is, will, will it handle a 52 volt battery? As you might have known, Bafang locked out 52 volt batteries on some of their drives. I don't know if they locked out 52 volts on, on the M600, so I might try that later to see what happens. So let's go back to talking about the battery a little bit. So this is a 13 cell battery. It's a 48 volt battery. So if each cell were charged to 4.2 volts, that would come out to 54.6 volts fully charged. I didn't start at that voltage. Next time I do this test, I'm definitely going to have to charge the battery a lot longer to make sure that I start out with maximum power. And next time when I test this, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot closer to 2000 watts. Another thing I want to investigate further is what kind of power level the throttle will command versus the torque sensor on the pedals. When I was pedaling up the hill that first night, I felt that I could make the power level go higher on the display than just using the throttle only. So that would be another thing I want to investigate. In closing, I'm happy I was able to verify that my M600 does in fact include the Ludacris controller. I'm also happy to report that the 2000 watt rating that some people call peak is actually sustainable for quite a while and hopefully in future videos I'll be able to see how long it can sustain that maximum power output. Oh, and take a look at this. My lock ring socket has arrived today. So this is the tool you actually need to remove the spider if you ever wanted to open up the motor. Thanks for watching.